Hey everyone, welcome back to Baby Steps to Your Best Life Yet, a 21 day cleaning challenge where we are going to be building some simple cleaning habits into a daily routine designed to help you get your home clean, clear and under control in 21 days. If you're new here, be sure to check out the link in the description of the video that I've posted explaining the 21 day challenge, along with the videos that I've uploaded each day showing how I tackle each of those daily cleaning tasks. Hey guys, so for today's challenge, we are going to be working through our paper clutter. And for me, that involves sorting out my filing systems. So I've shared this before on my YouTube channel. I use one of these crystal file boxes for my household files. I used to have a massive filing cabinet, but I just found by decluttering all of my paper and just scanning the essentials and only keeping the absolute necessities, like absolute, absolute necessities, you can actually downsize the things that you need to store on an like for an average household, you can really downsize to store all your must keep uh, essential documents into one of this kind of size storage containers. Now this is where they are stored currently. And I also had one for my boys like preschool, daycare, kindergarten, school years, keepsakes, all the things that I want to keep for them. They've outgrown theirs. So I'm going to take the home things from this one, relocate it to this one because I couldn't get a third black one from Officeworks. They were out of stock. Um, I actually bought this quite a while ago and it's just been something that I've been meaning to do since moving here. So today is the day that we are going to stop procrastinating and just get in and get it done as boring and as sorted through paperwork and paper clutter is it's just so good when you get it done so i am just relocating the labels from here to here and i got some new kind of prettier um filing what are they called suspension files and i'm just going to relocate the little tabs onto these ones and this is going to be the home and household must keep things and this is for things that are really really essential so this is for things like passports birth certificates like any contracts any court orders anything that you must keep the originals of and that is all i keep everything else i just scan a copy and get rid of it and then for the boys i'm just going to split the one that they've shared so far into one each so they've got a little bit of growing room and they can finish out their school year with their whole school career, all of their school stuff can fit in one each. And I think I might go through, they've also just got like a little keepsake box. I think I might try and just condense it all into one container. So they've just got one container each. Okay guys, so that is it for today's challenge. We're gonna be organizing and decluttering our paper clutter. So this is gonna be split into two sections. In the first section, I am just transferring and decluttering my existing filing system. So as I mentioned before, transferring it from one container to another, and then just in the meantime, going through all of those things and decluttering. And then in the second part of this video, I'm gonna be going through a stack of papers that I have around my house that need to be sorted and actioned, filed or discarded. And I'll go through my whole method that I have used 
For the whole time I've had my YouTube channel, I've got a couple of other videos on paper decluttering and I've used the exact same method that I got from a book called Sorted and I'll leave an insert of the, that book, but her method works brilliantly and I will go through that. It is the flick file forward method and it is so quick and easy. But for now, all I am doing is going through my existing filing and then just saying, stay or go, stay or go, stay or go and just quickly running through and then transferring that into the new crystal file box. I'm also just making some new labels for some categories that I didn't have uh, little labels for and I only got this Dymo printer uh, not long ago and I've only used it to print maybe three or four labels since I've had it and I found that it just didn't print on the clear plastic labels at all. It works fine on the white paper ones but for whatever reason it just was not playing and it wouldn't print on my clear plastic labels so not so happy about that considering it was just brand new. Oh crap. But anyway, we are just going to continue on and I will get the invoice out and look at returning it to Officeworks once this is all decluttered and done. Now, honestly, it really did not take too long to do this whole process. So again, once again, don't be put off by how long you think it's going to take or how awful you think it's going to be. Just put on some music and just set aside 30 minutes or however long you think you're going to need to take, however long you've got available, whatever time frame you've got available to spend doing it. If you've only got 20 minutes, just get as much done as you can. Maybe just go through one section or category by category and then just work on that and do a little bit and chip away at it you know, every evening for a week or so. I promise you when you get your paperwork under control, it is like literally the best thing in the world. So just get in, get it done, and you'll be so thankful when your paperwork is all organized and under control. So guys, this is what it looks like after I have decluttered and transferred all of my files that I'm keeping into the new crystal file box. Really happy with how much I managed to declutter, but I still think that I can go through and have a closer look and I'll just do this, you know, maybe if I'm watching TV or something in the evenings, I'll just pull out one and then just go through it. Really disappointed with how that Dymo labeler did not work on the clear plastic labels that I really prefer because it's got much more of a minimal look. But I just printed it out on the white labels and we are just going to deal with it for now and then I will deal with that later. So I highly recommend these crystal file boxes for storing your paperwork. They are a little bit on the pricier side. Uh, I think they're around the $40 Australian mark, so a little bit pricey, but I have had mine and I will insert my old videos on sorting my paper clutter. I bought mine, I think back in 2015 or 2016, and they've been through multiple moves and lots of use. So they are really good quality. And having the two now for my boys to go through, I'm gonna set these aside. And when they come back next week from their dads, they're gonna go through their stuff and decide what they wanna keep and to help to organize it. Last time I sorted out my kids' artwork from a big storage box into this crystal file, they went through and they really enjoyed it and it was kind of a little fun activity. So for this part of the decluttering and organizing, we are done. And now we're going to move on to a stack of paperwork that I have gathered throughout my home that needs to be sorted and actioned. And again, just going through that flick file forward method that I will go through with you now. Can you see me shaking? Hear the sound of my heart breaking. Bless the soul that's aching. Hoping I survive. <laughs> Done. Flick file forward. So this is stuff that is just straight out rubbish. This is stuff that needs to be filed and it is just straight filing, archiving, scanning, or just putting away. And this is stuff that needs to be forward. So it is stuff that needs to either be actioned or given to someone else. So this is going straight away into the rubbish bin. We just need to file this and get this sorted for forwarding. So actioning either forms, things to fill out or things to pass on to other people. The other tip that I have for you, if you're organizing your paper and stuff, if you need to sort like bundles of papers uh, and you need to keep them, sometimes you can just use these little binder clips and then just print out a little label and it just helps with keeping them sorted and organized. So if, for example, you've got, you know, tax receipts or any kind of important things that you want to keep a hold of, but you want to sort them into specific years, uh, you can just do that with these clips and then just put a little 
uh, label on the binder clip. That's a super, super simple, easy way to keep your paperwork organized once it's been decluttered. This is another tip that I have. If you've got lots of things that you need to print labels for, I often find that when you trim it with the label maker, it leaves such a massive gap and I end up trimming it anyway with the scissors. So I will just do a long line of everything that I need and then just cut it. And then you're wasting less label, which gets pretty pricey. And so guys, this is what I use to um, manage all of the incoming paper that comes into my house. And not that I have a ton of paper, but anytime I have anything that needs actioning that is paperwork, I just pop it in here and then either once a week on Fridays, I'll go through and sort it out and then organize it within here. Usually Fridays are my kind of life admin days and house admin days. And then the first Friday of every month, I will go through and scan all of the invoices and receipts for the previous month that I have to save and file. It's not like a, just a two minute job. I don't like to just snap and scan them randomly. I like to set aside time when I can do the whole process of scanning them, saving them into my computer, naming the files and doing the whole lot properly. I find that if I just, you know, scan them here, there and everywhere, it's then a bigger task to go back and find all the files or even if they're in an album, it's just much easier to collate them for a month or the reporting period that you need to keep them for and then just sort them out all in one go when you can do it from start to finish rather than doing little bits here and there. So that is just where I keep it all and from there it just gets actioned. Every Friday I go through and sort it out and then any scanning that needs to get done, it's just held here in this clip and I just attend to it once a month and that is all the time that I set aside to do that. So guys, that is it for today's video. Just get in and declutter your paper clutter throughout your home. Definitely try that flick file forward method. It absolutely works. I will leave a link in the description to a video that I filmed back in 2016, exact same method, still using it because it works. That video goes into more detail of it and shows how I sort through more paperwork. If you are interested, go and check that out. I will also leave links to other paper decluttering and organizing videos that I've filmed. And that is where I look more in depth at like kids' schoolwork and artwork, any manuals and warranties that you might have that you need to keep throughout your home, how I declutter and sort anything like printed photographs. So anything that is print or paper related, I definitely have a video already for that. So definitely go out and check that. Happy decluttering guys, get in, get it done, and I'll see you tomorrow for a new cleaning challenge.